we got Dan the Danchi out today and uh, we're gonna try doing full droop. Took all the springs off just to see. Still getting the articulation. So let's see, see how he does. So far, not so good. Okay, this is the little area that uh, takes a minute to try to get up, so let's see if full droop makes any difference. Okay, other than the suspension being too low and the body hitting, if I take that off it'll clear a little bit more but it's still rubbing down here on the rear servo. It runs relatively well. Um, I think uh, probably end up putting the shocks back on. It seemed like it had a little bit better of the uh, the incline for the rear end, but other than that, it it flexed and did all the did everything, and it sits nice and low. You know, the only problem is, is it sits too low that when you go up, you high center on the, the rear. So what I might try to do is put some little springs on the inside just to give that up a little bit. Or take the stock springs and cut them so that they only come out that much and have that much more dampening. But if they need to, they can stretch. I don't know. I'm not a shock guy. All right, well, that's Dan the Danchi. Uh, we'll see what happens. I need to fix this guy. It's a little mount, because the body kept falling off. So, all right, cheers. Catch you on the next time. The other thing we did here is we took the uh, three ounces of BBs out of the front wheel, our front tires. No more noise. So quiet. Uh, three ounces of solder wrapped around the, the wheel itself and then put everything back. 
So it still has the same amount of weight, but it doesn't have that rolling BBs. So I can't tell if it's any better or not. The noise is better. So.